send Alan to fetch your van while you help me with some little jobs. What sort of little jobs? Oh, nothing too taxing. Right up your street. You want to keep your hand in or you're going to get rusty. In fact, you should be thanking me for the favour. Jack, Mr Carnegie, have you started on that list of repairs yet? Of course. Yeah, glad to see it. This place looks more like a junkyard every day. Well, your heart rate is still quite high, and um, I suspect you may have a touch of anemia. Anemia? Uh, yes, it's a shortage of red blood cells. It's caused by not enough iron in the diet. Um, have you been feeling at all run down? <laughs> run down? Doctor, he doesn't do anything to get run down about. Book reading and daydreaming. He's hardly got his nose to the grindstone. Right, well, I'm going to order you a, a blood count just for your safe time. Okay. Thank you, Doctor. This couldn't have happened at a worse time. We've been preparing for this interview for months. Well, you know, being a priestess for a lifetime, I don't suppose a few weeks will make that much difference. Yes, sister, of course, you're right. This is God's way of testing our patience. Come. You all right? Yes. What do you want? I've been thinking about my behavior, and I understand why you had to suspend me, and I just wanted to say that I'm sorry. It's not personal. I can't have you on the staff while you're a liability to the patients. Even if I've learned my lesson? This is exactly why you're not ready to come back. You don't seem to have the slightest inkling of what being a nurse actually entails. Please, Auntie. I've got no one else to talk to. Mummy's thousands of miles away, and even if she was here, she wouldn't understand. I'm sorry, Susie. This is neither the time nor the place. So meet me outside the hospital, then. It'll do you good to get out on your lunch break. That's settled, then. One o'clock. I don't know what's happened. They were fine an hour ago. Bobby, open the window. Switch that fire off. What is it? What's wrong? There's a sooty smell. Yeah, and see the flushed face, it's pink lips. It's carbon monoxide poisoning. What? Yeah, the flu's probably blocked. We need to get them outside. Just drive it or push it. Where's that flaming hippie? Hey! Steady on. Well, first it was part miles from where he said it would be, then when I finally track it down, it runs out of petrol. I had to use my own money to fill up a can. Hey, look on it as an investment. Hey? That flaming hippie is our gift horse. It must have been a high concentration of carbon monoxide. It's what Mandy was suffering from this morning, but I had no way of knowing. Is there anybody else in the house? No, my wife's away. Is this your daughter too? Gail, no. She's a neighbor's child, off school as well. I thought there'd be company for each other. Okay, Bobby, let's go. See, what did I tell you? One man's rubbish is another man's treasure. Tell me, where's she parked? Hey, not so fast. Let's not break up this happy hive of industry. Well, I can't hang here, I suppose. Good man. As long as you pay me by the hour. <sighs> What's that? An old ship's radio. You never fix it, have you? Magic fingers, man. <laughs> Can you find Radio Caroline? Hey, hands off, it's not a toy. This is the one link we had with the outside world. Hey, I could use it to call up all the old tars. Dubai, Gibraltar, Hong Kong, Grimsby. With this, we can circumnavigate the world. <laughs> we should find the lighter. The fire has been to stay off school. I can't believe yourself. The fire I should have noticed. That carbon oxide is really hard to detect. It's a wonder he didn't go the same way. Nurse? I had no idea about the fire. I just wanted to keep Mandy warm. It's likely you've been affected by exposure to the fumes. I'd like to do a blood test to make sure. Someone rang about my daughter. That would have been me, Gail, isn't it? What's she doing here? I don't understand. Has there been an accident at school? The doctor will explain. I'm, 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 I'll 
Jack. Can you take this lady to casualty? Oh, Mr. Bannister, I've brought this for Bernard, Doctor. I hope you don't mind. Eileen's pies have won prizes. <laughs> Only at the diocese's fate. Savory pastry class, three years running. Well, we do actually provide meals for patients. <gasps> yes, but if he's got anemia, we must take extra care. He has meat six days a week, you know. Really? Yes. So he's got no excuse to be lacking in anything. Any efficiency is not of my making. Now, Sister Bridget. Your mother's been worried. The doctor wants to do tests. It's probably just routine. She says there's an underlying cause. We don't know anything yet. I'm sorry, Dad. Come on. You need your strength. So do you. Help me out. Eat, or you'll upset your mother. says it would suit me, the routine, not having to think for myself. That's the first time I've heard it described quite like that. Is she wrong, then? Bernard, all I can tell you is that giving over your life to serve God, it takes a great deal of thought. Are you all right? Yes. You don't look it. It's just a bit of wind. What's the problem? Nothing. It's fine. Lie down for me, will you, Bennett? Uh, oh, I'd rather not. I'll be needing my toilet in a minute. Does this happen often? All the time. Uh, look, I know what it is. Uh, what's wrong with me? It's like my dad's. It runs in families. I've got bowel cancer. Would you like me to call anyone? No, no, it's just me and Gail. Do you have a minute? What was she doing at Mr. Monroe's? Sorry? It's just, I leave for work first thing, and if she's truanting, I've no way of knowing. I never suspected, not for a minute. I thought she was happy at school. Oh, with little Mandy, too. I don't understand it. Gail should be setting an example. Oh, look, you don't know anything for sure. She's always been such a good girl. I didn't think she'd never let me down. Axel? Dude, is that you again? No, never. Can you hear me, never? Calling Free Radio Utopia. Are you receiving, man? It's my go now. Never. Can you hear me? Yeah, man, I hear you. How are you doing? 
It's all groovy. Jack, shh. Neville's on the commune. There's a lot of background noise. Ah, Neville's new Danish friend. Hello. Hello, Neville. Why is Mr. Cartwright here? Um, technical advisor for hospital repairs. For a few tables and chairs. Yeah, but you want it done properly. Um, and uh, joinery is not exactly my forte. <laughs> Jack, I'm beginning to wonder what your forte actually is. Mr. Cartwright, since you're no longer in our employ and Dr. Ormerod has actually discharged you, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Come on, then. Make it snappy. I made sludge as a surprise. I thought we could have a picnic on the cliffs. Oh, it's freezing. Well, then what can warm us up? Please, Aunt. I don't know if I have much of an appetite. Well, there's chocolate cake and two kinds of sandwiches. I wasn't sure which you'd like. I can't remember when I last had a picnic. Come on, then. So you're experiencing the same symptoms as your father? Well, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have cancer, too. How long has he been living with the condition? I can't remember a time when he wasn't. Has he been seen at Ashford Le General? Well, no. He's not been seen anywhere. Well, okay, well, so who, who diagnosed him in the first place? <sighs> right, so you're saying he's never actually seen a doctor? You fancy some lunch? Oh, thanks, but I don't want to leave Gail. Well, she should have responded by now. Nick, did you realise that her mum didn't know she was off school? She wasn't ill. Apparently not. Then she must have lied to Stuart McMorrow. Or he lied to us. I asked him to keep Mandy off school. You think maybe he asked Gail to look after her? He asked her to play truant. And he is her teacher, so she probably couldn't say no. Doesn't seem fair on poor Gail. I don't mean to make a mess of things. I don't do it on purpose. It's just, I'm not used to being told what to do. Please, Auntie, don't be in a bad mood. I don't want to go into all this trouble. Auntie! Can you hear me? 